The Flash and the Arrow, both really awesome shows, and I am here to talk about them. Now, before I even get started, I just want to let y'all know that this review does contain spoilers. So if you haven't seen either one of these seasons, I suggest you cut this off right now until you see it and then come back. And I'm giving you time, so one two, three, and go. Now first with The Flash. Now this is my first real introduction of The Flash, as well as all his villains, and everything that he's capable of as a hero. Now I was real surprised at how good the show was, and how amazing The Flash is. And that was some great acting from Grant Gustin as The Flash, as well as everyone else. Now the graphics to me wasn't really spectacular, but for the series it works. And it kind of reminded me of The Matrix Reloaded, when Neo was fighting off all of Mr. Smith's. And I found myself getting really involved within the romance between Barry and Iris. Even though anybody that know anything about the comics know that Barry and Iris ultimately gets married. But for the show, it was really interesting intriguing to see how it all plays out in live action on screen. And the villains in the series was just as good and as engaging, making them a big part of the show's success. And one in particular is Eobar Thawne, aka The Reverse Flash, played by Tom Cavanaugh, who I think played the role pretty damn good. He brought a weird and creepiness to the character that I found fitting that made him a really good villain. And I feel that like Grodd was underutilized, and maybe they did that to set it up for next season, which I hope that he plays a major part because I really want to see what he's actually made of. Because he showed that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Flash, so I would really love to see how that matchup turns out and I cannot wait for that and the death of Eddie Thon was unexpected and I feel that that made it a little bit better when it came to the season finale I really didn't find myself liking how it ended but I guess it was good for what the show was and what it was trying to accomplish but yet it did leave off on a cliffhanger so I really cannot wait until next season to see where it picks up from but overall I found myself really enjoying this show and really liking it and so here go my grade for the flash season one I can say I'll give it an A for awesomeness enough said now on to Arrow season three now I've been a big fan of this series ever since it first premiered and so with that I really did enjoy this season and of course it's not perfect it had its points where it was stale but then it would immediately pick back up and get more interesting again and I like the route that it went with Raz al Ghul and how they tied the story into the League of Assassins and the guy who played Raz I feel played the role very well and you can really get into him as a villain and I can positively say that with his calm and confident demeanor it made him kind of scary and just the way that he was depicted in this story you felt like he is Raz al Ghul and he is the leader of the League of Assassins. And I love the introduction of the new characters to this franchise. And Brandon Ralph, who played the Adam, played the character really good and made him really likable. And I really want to see with the spinoff what more he has to offer to this character. And I can't find myself being on board with Katie Cassidy, who plays Laurel, being Black Canary, even if it's just for one season. And I always found myself not liking her whenever she puts on the suit because she just didn't feel it out right. It just wasn't right for her. And I feel that Katie Lutz, who plays her sister Sarah, made the suit actually look good. But I guess that's what the writers was going for. But simply, I just hated it. And hopefully by next season, since there is going to be a spinoff that does feature her sister Sarah as White Canary, that she just does away with it and picks up something else. And I also really like the development with Thea played by Willa Hyland. With finding out her brother's secret and how her father set her up to kill Black Canary and just dying and coming back, as well as her losing her mother in the season prior, it really makes her story better because it's showing the pain that she's going through and how she's trying to get through it. And Willa Hyland, who plays her, did a really good job of bringing out that pain as well as the strength of this character. Plus, I think she's just so sad. But moving on, and as far as the last fight with the Arrow and Raz al Ghul, it wasn't really impactful to me like I thought it was going to be. So I was slightly disappointed, but I was surprised with the twist of Malcolm Merlin becoming the new leader of the League of Assassins. Now this season had this share of all type of emotions that these characters could possibly go through, being that they had a struggle with inside the group, as well as the struggle that a lot of them had within themselves. And how it kind of tore them apart, but they realized that they had to band together at the end to defeat the main villain, which is Raz al Ghul, and everything that he was trying to do. And not to mention that one of the scenes was very predictable when Roy Harper, Arsenal, or Speedy, whatever you want to call him, when he basically faked his death, I can say from a standpoint of a fan, that really was kind of predictable, but I liked how it worked out in the end, and just the conclusion that he came to when he said that he needed to get away from Thea so that he could keep her safe, so where she wouldn't have to be like him and be on a run, that she can just live a normal life, and I kind of like that aspect of it. Now, you know I can't talk about Arrow Season 3 without talking about the mid-season finale with the fight between Ra's al Ghul and Oliver Queen, which to me was really unexpected. I mean, you already knew that Ra's al Ghul was going to outmatch Oliver Queen. But for it to end like that, with Ra's al Ghul sticking the sword through Oliver Queen and kicking him off a cliff, that just shows you what type of badass he is. And if he ain't a badass after that, I don't know what he is. And that further solidifies him to be Ra's al Ghul. And overall, I really did like the season. I can't wait to the next season to see what happens. Since they said it would take a lighter tone. So I want to see how that all plays out. And now for the grade. I can say I give Arrow Season 3 a B plus. All because I said that it did have its faults, but at the same time it was still enjoyable. And like I said before, I cannot wait to the next season to see where it goes from here. And so with that said, that concludes this take one review of The Flash Season 1 and Arrow Season 3. And I'd like to thank y'all for watching this video. And if you like it, subscribe, comment, and share. And there will be more videos to come. So I'll catch you later. Until next time.